Morning, everyone. It's Trader Rob. We are in a, actually in the middle of a blizzard here and not even sure it's a good idea to trade today. Let me explain why right after the intro. All right, as always, nothing that I state on my channel is financial advice, trading futures, or any type of trading is risky business. Any capital that you put out there is at risk for loss. All right, we're in the middle of a blizzard. I mean, all my kids are at home. They canceled school. We're in Chicago. And <clears throat> it's getting ready. I was in the shower. Actually, the lights started flickering. So came down, made myself some coffee, and power got knocked out. So lost internet, lost, you know, and it came back on luckily in about three or four minutes. So I'm here sitting, got my charts open, um, but I'm really contemplating that this might not be a good day to trade. Um, I, the last thing that I would like is to be in a trade or to have a strategy open and get some get power knocked out. I do have the capability of hot spotting from my phone. I don't think that's a great idea. Um, but it is an option um, because I know that I know that that seems to be pretty reliable, and I have tried it in the past, and it's you know it's it's done its job when I'm in a laptop or something like that, and I need and I need internet. Um, so I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what's going on. But let's just go over really quickly uh, where we stand. Yesterday we had a brutal of a day. Um, hopefully you guys watched that video. Uh, we took a big loss yesterday, 700 bucks. Um, we lost both gold and an oil first session. Um, shut it off at that point. Uh, we were able to take a third trade in um, in oil. I'm sorry, second session trade in oil, which took full take profit, but did not take that in the evaluation. So we currently sit at 49,549. So we're negative 450 in the eval account after yesterday's hit. Here's what the curve looks. Um, six days trading, 50% win rate. This was at 75% um, two days ago, but we've taken two days of losses. So that's what we're going to do. Um, in my Discord, I, I, you know, I let everybody know we have some high impact news today. Um, and, you know, how that obviously can affect it was 730 news, um, PPI. So, you know, you're going to get some, again, some volatility there uh, early morning. Yesterday, again, first session was a loser. Second session was a winner. Um, and in gold, right at the end, we got a trade that went for a loser. So uh, one for three yesterday on the morning strategies. But again, that's kind of how it, uh, kind of how it goes. Um one thing that I mentioned in my Discord this morning was I put a lot of um, importance on Mondays and Fridays for trading. And I look at it as importance for what's up here, the psychology of the mental side of trading. I feel it's like really important to start the week on a good note and to end the week on a good note. There's nothing better than going into the weekend in the green and with a positive feeling so that's kind of why i mentioned that um i i don't know i i guess i put that question out to to my viewers um what do you guys think i know there's a lot of people that don't like trading on mondays um you know i think that i don't know i know there's some crazy statistics that are out there um as far as wow well, big rip there on on oil big rip so you know i know there's some people that don't like to trade on on mondays there's some people that don't don't, don't like to trade on you know high impact news days um to me it almost seems like there's high impact news days almost every day now um it just seems like they're now a little bit earlier like pre-market pre-session um, so it still entices the traders to still get into the market at, uh, at, at the open, but I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Um, but
but I do, I do find it very important to try to, to try to be green into the weekend and you get those two days of, you know, positive mental thoughts. And, uh, and I also find the weekends to be an awesome time to backtest. I don't know why. Um, I think it's, I find it to be a, a great time to, to take a look at your strategies and to see if, if anything might need a tweak or if, um, you know, what, what's kind of been going on with the trades. So I am not a hundred percent sure what the rest of my morning is going to look like here. Um, I think if I get into some trades here, I, there's going to be a, an element of risk that I probably shouldn't even be taking. I mean, it's really bad out there. It's snowing hard, but it's just, it's more of the wind. Um, there, it is just blowing. So I'm not sure, um, but if you stick around, I'll let you know if I take the trades. Um, you'll see them here shortly. And if not, you're gonna get my recap um, either way. See you guys in a little bit. All right, so we get activated. Um, we get activated to the short in session one in oil. Obviously, you can see I'm trading and um, love this push down. I mean, this was this was really nice. We got to some really decent profit. Had a really good feeling at that point. Um, and then we had some buyers kind of stepping in. And, you know, at this point, you know, I, I actually had to adjust my take profit here because um, I kind of as a default, once my bracket orders come up, they go to 35 ticks. Um, once I... Once I realized that the source bar was 36 ticks, um, that's pretty much where I adjusted it to, even though it looks like I'm a tick below. Um, so I might have been a tick off here. Either way, I, I, you know, I just didn't listen to myself in, you know, I, I said it's probably kind of risky just because my internet has just been extremely spotty. Lights have been flickering almost all morning here. So kind of took a risk with these trades, um, looking at oil, at gold on the right chart. And I know I'm gonna get into a trade here in, in gold. So there goes my entry orders. We get activated in gold to the long. So pretty much didn't even have to do almost any adjustment to my bracket orders here. And they were directly right on that bottom of that source. So that was that was easy, um, easy way to get into this trade, and now I am long, or I'm sorry, I'm short in oil and I'm long in gold. So we've got competing uh, competing trades here, and not having the best feeling in oil, having a decent feeling over here in in gold but just don't like that slap back down right to back to our entry really looking for buyers to step in in gold um and try to um try to take at least a, a take profit here because oil on the left hand side of the chart does not looking very good we're getting to an area here where we kind of sat for a while before so I know there was going to be some some interest at that level, and was kind of hoping here that the the sellers would kind of defend maybe that area a little bit and and help me push price action down, but um, just tough trade in oil, tough trade in oil. Seems like we've been getting slapped pretty hard on these thirty five tick um, shots. So it's like a full loss in oil, gold takes a full take profit. So one for one, one for two. Target filled. Some pretty irresponsible trading. I'm going to tell you why. So, as I stated, 
I'm in Chicago. We're in the middle of a blizzard here. Wind is just absolutely insane today. And my power got knocked out at least four times today. Now, the good part was it would just come right back on. But every time that it would get knocked out, even for like four or five seconds, my internet had to get restarted. One time I had to go in and actually reboot the router because it wasn't coming back online. And, and I still traded like a complete idiot. I mean, I really should have just said, you know what? I am going to take the day off. Um, the kids are home. It would have been just a, a, a really smart thing for me to do. I didn't do it. Um, didn't have any issues during my morning session one in oil wish i would have had a i wish i would have had an issue because this one we got activated to the short again it just seems like last three days we've had like halfway take profit and then reversal three bars up and get knocked out for a pretty pretty big early loss there it was 360 350 bucks um we then get, as you saw in the video, we got activated in gold um, to the positive, and that went full take profit, two hundred and twenty bucks. Um, so I think I'm off here. Some oh, this is not on the right. This is up a little bit. So this would have been twenty three. Yeah, that sounds better. Two hundred and thirty bucks. Um, Either way, ended the day at $110 down on the eval. Ended, I think, down 50 bucks in my cash account, which again, not the worst, not the worst day. Didn't really take many trades. Um, didn't take the NQ. So here's the thing. I go to trade second session in oil which would have been right here. Let's, right here is where we get the, we would have got an activation to the long. Right before this candle forms, my internet goes out. And that's the one where I actually had to go downstairs in the basement to go re reset the router. So I get back up. Internet goes, and this thing is, it's flirting right at the entry line. It went down and it went up a little, but it was still flirting at the entry line. And I'm saying to myself, should I just get into this trade? It, it goes against my rules because I didn't have my, my long order. I didn't have my short order in. And, you know, I really wasn't in at the end of this uh, inside bar. And I decide that then literally as I'm going to make the decision to just put in a long entry order where we would have got where everybody else was in, this thing shoots straight up. Okay. And this thing gets probably to about, I don't know, a hundred. Let's see. I don't know why my thing's moving a lot so much like this, but Oh, it's because I'm it's price actions going on the other on the right to it. Uh, so I'm I'm thinking to myself, it didn't even give me a, a um, it didn't even give me a chance. And when it gets up to here, I'm like, shit, this thing's going to take again, full take profit. Let everybody know what happened to me in my discord. And sure, shit, this thing reversed back down for a full loss on that one. So. The blizzard saved me on this second session in oil. Um, overall, not the not the way you really want to go into the weekend. Not a terrible loss. It's definitely something that we can overcome. Um, but I guess it's kind of a lesson learned where you have that kind of internal, that internal. I don't know. I, I get there's just this, that, those little voices that are inside of you that are telling you. Hey, you know what? You probably shouldn't be trading today or, you know, what? today's a good day. Let's let's go at it. And I'll be honest with you. I had that 
that gut in me where it said, you know what, don't risk it today. There's a lot of shit going on. The weather's terrible. You're going to have maybe an issue with internet, power, and um, and that's actually what came to fruition. So I guess sometimes you got to listen to that internal side of you that's telling you um, what to do. I plan on releasing a video on Sunday. I think you guys are going to like it. Um, I think it's going to help some traders out there. And so look out for that. We'll continue back up on Monday. Um, I've got a goal of hitting $3,000 profit on the eval. We're down slightly for the week this week trading. Um, you know, we had, it was kind of a roller coaster because we were up pretty big. I'm sorry, we were down. We were up pretty big. And then now we are back down. So, but overall for the week, I think it's, I think we might be down a hundred bucks or 200 bucks. Um, listen, I hope you guys enjoy the weekend. Uh, if you guys are in this shit ass weather, um, stay safe, stay home, try not to drive. And I'll see you guys on Monday. Happy trading everyone.